Hey, sorry I'm late. I had to take the long way. I really should have left earlier considering it's exams for everyone. <laughs> I'm glad you saved me a seat though. Let me just get my stuff out and then we can get started. I feel like I'm missing something. Jeez, I'm taking up a lot of room, aren't I? I can move over if you want me to. Oh. Okay. It looks like you've been here a while already. Again, I'm sorry I was late. Everything was packed and the lecture ran way later than I expected. <laughs> it's pretty quiet in here. Maybe I should whisper. <laughs> you can tell everyone is serious about studying when it's actually quiet. What are you going over? Oh. Ooh. That looks rough. It looks like you're doing pretty good so far, though. I have a few subjects to go over. I literally have four study guides, and I've only finished one. Yeah, I know. I know I've been slacking. But I know at least one of these will be easy. It's for my English class. We're going over our short story and poetry unit. Thankfully, I actually enjoy the short story we're reading. Also, very thankful that my teacher is a fan of Edgar Allan Poe. He's an exceptional author, and had a really consistent writing style. Mm-hmm. I really enjoy his work, and I haven't heard anything terrible about him as a person, so that's a plus. <laughs> Better get started on this packet, though. I have about four pages to get through. If I can just get this first one done, I think I can manage the other three later this week. Question one is down. You're right, we should get a snack. Oh, come on. I couldn't eat during the last lecture. I'm starving. <sighs> Fine. One page. One page, and then we can get a snack. They have multiple choice questions in this guide. Ah, uh, that makes things so much easier. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> it's the little things that make me happy in times like this. to 
even out the easy multiple choice ones by adding a short answer question. Well, I suppose that balances the study guide out. Considering we could turn this in for extra credit, I'm sure it's to make sure no one will just copy off of any other one person. Yeah, that happens a lot. There was a kid in one of my classes last semester that got in trouble for doing the world history papers for 35 bucks a piece. He got in trouble because one kid decided to get it from him right in the middle of class. It was pretty embarrassing to watch. <laughs> hey, maybe you should do that. You can make a killing. <laughs> no, no, don't actually do it. A couple hundred dollars may sound nice, but is it really worth getting kicked out from a class? Or even worse, getting kicked out of school? Nah, that sounds awful. If you really need money bad, I can start making us lunches and maybe coffee so we aren't tempted to go out as often. <laughs> well, I'm no master chef, but I can definitely make a good potato soup. <laughs> okay, okay. We can discuss this a bit more later. I can feel people looking at us right now. <laughs> Plus, I'm almost halfway done with this page. Snacks will come to me soon. <laughs> were there any particular scenes or characters or moments in each room? Scared, his reaction, so the hangs. Hmm. Hmm. I must have missed something in my notes. I could have sworn I'd have it in here. Oh well, I think I marked it in the actual book. Yes, with this sticky note, I don't like how writing in the book feels. Plus, it just seems wrong. I get that it's mine, but I'd rather give it to someone who needs it next semester or something, without words and scribbles inside, you know? <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty sure I have it marked in here. There it is. Okay. this looks good. How are you doing? What? You're way farther than me. <laughs> oh, you're stuck? What are you stuck on? Maybe I can help. Mm-hmm. I think I remember there being a passage on that in the book, 
but it was in a weird spot that didn't actually match the chapter that talks about it specifically. But trust me, I know it doesn't make sense, but there's definitely a chapter that talks about it later on in the book, a bit more in depth, but for whatever reason, it isn't labeled like it should be. Here, let me show you. So it says it should be in chapter 7 of the textbook, but if you flip to, I think it was chapter 12. Yeah, they mentioned it again. Right here. I remember someone else showed me that when I was in that class. I swear they were the only one person that got me through it. That class was really tough. Yeah. I actually just barely passed that class with a B. And I know, a B isn't awful, but when I enrolled in that class, I thought it was going to be a lot easier. <laughs> anyway, here it is. There's a whole paragraph that covers the topic more in depth. I hope that helped. Oh, no problem. I do want to finish this page though. I can feel my tummy starting to rumble, and I really don't want everyone to stare if it gets loud. I have about six more questions. How many more do you have after that? Oh, alright. Now that we cleared up that last question, those should be pretty easy for you. You have been flying through the packet way faster than I've been doing mine. I'll try to get this finished up quick. Hey, I just noticed you're using a pen. Is that allowed for homework? No, no. I just don't want you getting points deducted or something for something so silly. I can give you a pencil. No, it's no trouble. Again, it seems silly to let you have points taken off for something I can help fix. Come on, before you start that page. Yeah, it's totally fine. I'm glad I was able to catch that before you started your next assignment. I hope you don't get in trouble for the pen on those other pages. Oh, really? Well, I guess if you don't need to turn the other one in, that's totally fine. <laughs> Let me find it in my bag, though. falls to the bottom. There we go. Oh. Well, I have one, but it's not sharpened. I can give you mine while I sharpen this one. Yeah. Here, take it. Let me just find my sharpener. Ah, it's so tiny. I used this for my art class. I'm glad I kept it all this time.
I forgot it didn't work too well back when I was in art class. Hmm. Ah, pencil shapings. Ah, better. <laughs> Almost done. Almost done. Then a snack. <sighs> Let's see. In your words, explain the importance of Poe's work and how it affected today's literature. That seems like an opinionated question. Hmm. His work was influential after a death. And though his writing style isn't for everyone, it's certainly left its mark within the world of literature. There. I think that about wraps it up. Page one is done, and my tummy is rumbly. Wanna head to the snack machine? Yeah, I have some change. I'll buy. You honestly look pretty stressed. It's the least I could do. I won't even make you get up. Tell me what you want and I'll grab it for you. <laughs> Got it. And, hey, exams are super stressful for everyone, but if it gives me an excuse to see you, they become that much more manageable. <laughs> Plus, you're doing really good, I promise. Once it's all over, I'll make you that soup. How about that? <laughs> all right. Let me grab those snacks. I hope they are not of animal crackers. I might cry. <laughs> hey guys, this is Gentle GF. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for listening. I was really proud with this audio, with the studying idea. I was really excited to release this one. I noticed a lot of my followers were actually doing exams right now, and so I really do hope this helps. Um, as always, go ahead and give the video a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe, and follow me on Twitter for more day-to-day -day interaction. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah.